welcome back to my channel so my phone just said that i have a limited filming time <laughs> why because my sd card is full you know it's like 128 what is it megabytes gigabytes probably i have no clue it's 128 it's big and it's full however i want to continue in my journal since i'm in my room already and i really need to finish i can't have it anymore now i start being upset because things are just all around me and every time i clean it seems like it all comes back right away in 20 minutes and that is upsetting i don't like that you know what i found <coughs> i found a flower yes <laughs> what irina you found a flower yes i did and this flower is so cool that i'm considering putting it somewhere on my book look at that isn't that really cool it's a prima flower i don't know if i would but we just put the flower on top and it's good enough isn't it yeah however let me open this thing and i'm pretty sure i wanted to do something but as always i don't really know so I have to go through my stuff. Oh, I remember now. I remember now. I was thinking about putting a skull on there and then putting a little booklet in there. That's what I was thinking about. Now, do you think I have a skull somewhere? So I got, let's just start out here. I got this little booklet from somebody last year and I thought, wouldn't it be cool to just, you know, tuck it in somewhere so the person could actually write on it? Because I'm assuming if somebody writes a journal, they need more writing space. And I'm not going to write in the book anyways. I mean, I could, but I have so many. <laughs> I would just write into it to use it up for no reason at all. But this way, I could just, you know, have it somewhere, maybe. So, also... I definitely need to put stuff on the edges where my let's just do it I'm gonna put some art glitter glue you know where my sewing machine didn't get the stitch just so it doesn't come out because if one of them comes out it comes out everywhere and that's not something I need so <coughs> I'm just going to put this one aside like this. What's the other? Oh, there will be more. Okay. There will be more for sure. So I'm going to put this aside. It's going to dry not too long, hopefully. Yeah. If you make a journal, I noticed you have to go through the pages over and over again and work on stuff. And I have the same thing right here, which I'm going to do. And afterwards, I will put something on top. So it's not going to stay this way forever. I will put something on top afterwards. So just in case I want to have you down there. Okay. So little works here and there. And the journal should be good. And see, I have to put them all somewhere. But... This one has dried, and this one looks pretty, and this is from that part. So, should we? You know, maybe I should work on that a little bit, because I want to try something out here on the borders. And while this dries, I'm going to put some on here as well. And while all of that dries... I could actually see if I can make do something to my book here. Okay. Oh, I have no space left in my huge craft room. I really have a huge craft room without any space left. So here I was thinking, oh yeah, I wanted to maybe look because that's a magnet. <laughs> that's a cool thing i should just go around my room and i will find all the dice i'm missing i'm thinking about making a little pocket here and this is a cool punch actually you know what no. oh there it is i want to figure out that's what i always do always 
I will figure out if it's actually possible for me to do something in my book. And then I always use like leftover copy papers just to see, hey, how does it have to be? How do I do that? And I think that's how. Look at it. it cuts that. <laughs> it cuts that. And then I will go right here. It's not a surprise, but this paper is sprayed as well. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can see there is sprays everywhere. Okay, so I was thinking about putting two of them there and make like a little pocket. But So something could go in there and it doesn't look too bad. It covers up a little bit of my stuff here, but that is fine. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it with a black piece of paper. Maybe not even black. I like this. This is kind of gray shiny, gray shiny paper. So this is a good measurement, I think. Yeah, that's a good measurement. Let's see if I can take the sticker off. Oh my God, I hate stickers. Yeah, stickers destroy your paper, guys. They do. Oh, once you punch this out, you get little eyes. You could actually use somewhere if you wanted to. Eyes and a nose and a mouth. So you can keep those and just put them on another project or piece of paper. Looks very cool too, in my opinion. Okay, now see, I don't really have to measure anymore because I made myself a little template just to see how it's gonna look. So, let's do this. Well, 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 maybe I will cut it a little more, just a little more because I cannot do too much of here. So there's, of course, Irina, why would you even try to cut straight? Why would I even try? Okay, I would go this way. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, I do want them kind of, you know, I don't want them to be offset like this. <clears throat> Let me see. Measure four and a half. It's two and a quarter then. That's the half. Each of them goes on here. Okay, I'm just going to get myself something here. So I can get it a little bit straight. I measured the paper in half, so I can get it a little bit straight, a little bit. I might just mess it all up. I do not know. But I'm gonna go right here on the lines of that. If you cannot do it this way, you can totally just have your punch your paper first. Because once you have this kind of magnetic stuff going on, your paper might shift. It might. And you don't want that. So you can just punch it first on another piece of paper or whatever. 
Oh, Jesus. It doesn't punch yet. Did it? I don't think it did. No. I didn't punch my paper. Oh, now it did. <sighs> Maybe it's because my arm is hurting. <laughs> look, no, that's much better. And to make it look better, of course, I need something in the back. And that's some orange paper. As it so happens, I do have orange paper right here. It's going to go like this. And then they are going to be orange. But they are very shiny orange right now. So I'm going to change that. Once I cut it out. Okay. I need to change that. I, I just can't handle very shiny paper. Very shiny orange. And I'm just going to take some leftover from here. Because it does not have to be pretty at all. Oh, it just needs to be less shiny. And you know, jack-o'-lantern is supposed to be scary, even though this one is smiling. Look, this is how it's going to look like. And I think I'm just going to cut the edges a tiny bit. So there is no possibility of this sticking out. So just a little smaller than my paper and I'm going to glue it down. That's it. I did. Or am I going, I am going to distress this a little bit. So it doesn't look, oh, this paper distress is really pretty. It does distress in this black. Just because this paper has a black core, you know, which is much better than a paper that is colored, but once you like distress it, it's white inside, so it's only colored on top and bottom, or not only top. Okay, this one looks much better. I don't know how much of this I will be covering up, but I'll just distress it everywhere. And now. Just put some glue on the little teeth and everywhere else because I want this to stick. I don't want this to come off and if I put something inside, I don't want the stuff catching on anything. So I'm just gonna do it this way. Alrighty. They are adorable and since my book is not just scary and not just you know vintagey or something like that I feel like I can do anything in here I will also put some washi oh which one should we take should we take the one I have just gotten that has numbers on it or maybe something like this. I don't know. I need to look. It's not like we don't have Halloween washi here. This says Happy Halloween. I don't know about that. Doesn't. This has like the hair stuff coming out. I don't know about that either. I might do this. Oh, come on. Oh, this Happy Halloween looks better. I feel that. Oh, and this, it has skeleton heads, which totally goes with this one. Okay, let's put this down. But I'm going to use some of my art glitter glue right here because this paper is shiny and... Shiny paper and washi tape. Nah. Not the best idea. It's not going to hold too good. Okay. Wonderful. I'll 
just just like that and now I can actually stick it down here and hope for the best I wonder if I should stick it down there because I'm going to go around this and now you know what let me see if I can actually go around this <clears throat> like I wanted to so I wanted to try if I can find it I wanted to try and see if this would actually work out here I don't know I do not know and that I have to unravel the whole thing just to get to this pom-pom trim this drives me crazy I must say Turn the book around too. Oh my god, everything is just sticky, Mickey here. Okay, I could. I could go around the whole thing. I need to see if I have more. I think so. I'm pretty sure I have more of that. So I could go around the whole thing and the parts that are not covered up, I could just paint black. Ooh. I went to look for more and I do have one more and I found this one. This one is so pretty. I'm going to use it somewhere else in my book. Oh, okay. I guess that's what I'm going to do now so I can actually finish this part. I'm going to go around the whole thing with my pom-pom trim. These are just little pom-poms. So it should work out. And I'm also going to put some art glitter glue on the bottom. Jesus, open up. Don't stress me out today. Okay, so what I'm going to do, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to glue it right on the edges of the book like that and once I have it straight I have to lift it back off and put some art glitter glue in here and hope for the best actually This is going to be, uh-oh, once I have it down there, it's, oh, it's ripping my paper. It's sticking by itself so good that it rips my paper. Did you see that? Okay, so I have to change my tactics then. I have to put the glue first and then have my pom-pom trim going over it. Okay. Now this is going to be something. Maybe I should not hold the needle in my mouth while doing so. I hate this unraveling weird thing. I really do. But it has the most prettiest, the most prettiest trim on here. So what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, now I have to figure out where it goes. I would assume here. Okay. So I should have made it straight from the get-go, I feel like. You know, not having this weird shape, but more straight. So this way I could have had what I wanted and, you know, the aluminum foil here. So I would have had the texture that I wanted 
without actually having to um, put paint anywhere once I'm done, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this thing down first so I can go all around the whole thing, I'm assuming. Right? Right. So let's just glue this down. Of course I'm gonna leave the top open because it will be a pocket once I'm done. Is it straight? Can anybody tell? I can't. <laughs> I can't tell. Let's say it is straight, my friends, because I cannot tell right now. Is that straight? Hopefully. Okay. So there is that. It really started to bug me that I didn't know how to cover this piece up and I needed to try something, but I wasn't trying anything. Okay. Now the same. See, this unravel, ravel. Stop it. I still want the happy Halloween to be visible a little at least. So can we do that? Please. Okay, we did that. Okay, so I think this looks much more finished than it did before. So I guess I should be good with that, right? I mean, let me move this, glue this. Don't you think? It kind of does, right? So I still have my texture here, but this covers up this. So there is a difference, I would say. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do in the back, though. Am I going to put the same type of pocket in the back? Am I going to wait until I get to the back? before I do anything. I'm just trying to figure out if this in any way bugs me when I close my book and it does not. Pop, 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 pop. It doesn't. So, let me see if I have an envelope big enough. Because I do have a baggie, don't know. Don't know yet. What is it gonna be? I do have a baggie here. It goes like that. You know, shall we glue a baggie in there? And then what do we stick in there? I do not know. Maybe there could be something that can go in there. So I could glue it on here and then have my pom-pom trim going around and have a black envelope down there so things could be going inside whatever it is what do you think it's gonna cover up my paper but I don't really care maybe like that and then have the pom-pom and have the pom-pom trim right here as well yeah I kind of do like it. I, I mean, I can embellish the envelope a little later, but I would really like to finish up the whole pom-pom thing right now. Okay, let's do it. I'm up to it. I'm absolutely ready to do that. And if it's not good, I can always cover it up with something. I wish I had one where you can like, you know, close it up, but I don't, and I'm not gonna make one. 
ether. Right now, I'm kind of concerned here. Okay, that's gonna be it. No more movement. No more. I'm afraid to to make the signatures. I really am. I'm so afraid. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to, but I'm still afraid. I don't know why. It's so concerning to me. Opa, why did you go all the way out there? Why is there stuff sticking to my thing? Okay. Yeah, kind of the same length. Okay. Come on. Tim holds scissors. It should be like non-stick. <laughs> Don't stick if you are non-stick, right? Okay. Oh my God, this might not be enough. Well, it's enough for this part. So I'm just going to stick this part down. Probably not enough for this little part. We will see, but I have more. I have more. That's why you always need doubles and triples. Always. See, that's all that's left. But I do have the other one. And then I have to roll it all back in. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I do have this one. Where does it start? Roll, roll, roll. Row, row, row the boat. It will be fine. It will be just fine. I think I did too much here. Oh, well, I can cut it off once I'm done. Where are you? Right here. Opa. Need some more glue right there. And then we can just start and glue. Ooh, ooh. That's fine. I guess. Okay, where are my scissors again? Oh, I need to put this aside. It starts to upset me well that's good I mean it covered up a little bit of this shape but nothing I can do about that I need to cut off this little leftover part here as long as it's not dry okay alrighty I think the inside looks much better now yeah, I wish this wasn't here, but I can't change it now. It kind of looks okay. Doesn't it kind of look okay? I feel like it does. And then there will be the... Oh my God, everything is drying right now. Is it dry? Little glue, are you dry? Yes, you are dry. Okay, so let's see. And there will be like this. So it should be okay. You know, let me see. Yeah. Or well, should I just in case put some here? Or will they? No. They, 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 then they will start bugging me and do something and whatever. And I cannot do that. Okay. I'm thinking if I should just go ahead and put foil on top once I have my signatures in there. You know? I'm not sure if that's going to work, but I could try because I really love this. 
I don't know what, I don't really want to put lace or anything. I have only one black lace that it's white enough, but I don't really want to put it on there. And whatever comes in here, this is way too big, but you know, the booklet is not going to go there, but something will. So I think it's going to be good. I should make like a tag or something right here. And then it's going to be there. And this one will just have whatever. Whatever stuff needs to go there. Now I'm thinking that I will probably put some washi. Will I put some washi there? Or will I not? I will. I will put some very, very skinny washi. And I just got some from Jeannie. And I'm going to put it down there. It just has numbers. You know, 1 to 31. On the black washi. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Let me see. A piece of it is destroyed. So we don't want that piece to be on there. Maybe for something different. Because there's like this little line. And I would put it here and all the way up there. That's what I'm thinking. And I think it's going to be good. So let's do this. It doesn't matter with which one it starts. I do not care. And I'm going to cut it off a tiny bit longer and then try and stick it underneath my pom-pom right here. Because the pom-poms are not glued down, only the base of it. Ha! Huh. Now it looks like I did it in order, you know, like I started with the right thing. <laughs> Even though I did not. Okay, the same thing I will do right here, right underneath this okay same thing here my pom-poms are not glued down so stuff can actually go underneath Ah, uh, come on, why didn't you do it right away? Okay, I can't see. There is a leftover washi. Pop the pom pom. Shush. Why didn't I do it right away? I thought, oh no, it's going to fit. But it didn't. And I don't want it to be visible. Okay, let me fix that. You go under the pom pom. You understand me? Okay. It did understand me. Okay, you know what I need to do? I need to put some black on those pieces here because they don't look good. You see, like a piece of skeleton is there. But the rest does look good. I don't know if a picture or something will go on here. But I'm done for now. I'm just going to put some black on here and be done and be happy and not do anything else anymore you know be done and be happy let it dry don't touch it know myself i will touch it if i don't leave the room i will touch it and i need a little bit here onto it well i hope i'm not gonna paint my desk but if i do I won't be surprised. Okay. So that looks much better, doesn't it? If it's not there. Okay. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. You know. If you did, of course, thumbs up. Share, subscribe if you want to. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how many journals that you make. 
while I was making one. <laughs> well, I'm working on one. How many did you finish? <laughs> if you could let me know, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Really, I do. And I hope you have a great day. I see you soon. Bye-bye.